from the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kicks 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane. What does it mean knowing Reed now offers the highly advanced specialty of electrophysiology to treat silent conditions of the heart? More than you know. More than you know is closer than you think. Reed Hospital and Healthcare Services. Welcome to Kix96 and WHON Video News. It's Monday, April the 21st. I'm Jeff Lane. Richmond police now have not one but two weekend shootings to investigate. The latest took place last night in an alley behind North 21st Street at just before 9 o'clock. Few details have been released, but we do know that a man was taken to Reed Hospital after being shot in the leg in the alley. No arrests have been made. The victim's name and condition have not been released. Last night's shooting comes one day after a Centerville man was shot in the lower leg in the 900 block of North 16th Street. Early Saturday morning, 25-year-old Jason Duncan was discovered by police on a living room floor with a gunshot wound. He was taken to Reed Hospital. Duncan's girlfriend indicated he had been having a dispute with a man identified only as Big Frank. Duncan denied that claim and refused to cooperate with police. Police located blood in and around Duncan's girlfriend's car. This weekend, the National Road West Bridge in Richmond officially became the Lamar Lundy Bridge. On Saturday, a crowd of about 70 people turned out for the dedication ceremony, including State Senator Alan Paul of Richmond, who authored the bill to rename the bridge. I think it's neat that we're naming a bridge after, after him because he bridged so many gaps, not only in the community, but all over the state of Indiana. Lundy was known nationally as a part of the fearsome foursome with the Los Angeles Rams. Three of his children were there Saturday to unveil the new sign. Here's his daughter, Vicki Lundy Wilbon. He was a man who loved his friends. They say you're born into a family, but you pick your friends. The people that he became friends with became family. Since Lundy's passing, a fund has been set up in his name. Here's Tom Holdhouse. With the help of an awful lot of generous people in the city and the county, we were able to raise over a half a million dollars which will go into the Wayne County Foundation. The income from that will go to Townsend Center. For the first time in years, Wayne County can claim the Whitewater Valley's lowest unemployment rate. Usually Union County claims the lowest rate, but in March, Wayne County's unemployment rate dipped to 6.5%, slightly better than Union County's 6.6%. Fayette County once again has the highest rate of people out of work, not only in the area, but in the entire state, at 10.9%. Other rates include Randolph and Henry County at 7% and Franklin County at 6.9%. Statewide, Indiana's rate jumped to 5.6% and that's above the national average of 5.2%. And a First Merchants Bank was robbed in Muncie on Friday. And the way the robbery went down was nearly identical to the robbery of the Richmond First Merchants branch on Chester Boulevard a couple weeks ago. On Friday, a man described as a white male entered the Muncie Bank early in the morning, pulled a gun and demanded money. He fled in a car and then switched to another vehicle that had been parked in a nearby neighborhood. That car had been stolen from a Marion car dealership. All those details are basically identical to the Richmond robbery. Police are still investigating that case. Investigators are considering the possibility that the same person is responsible for robberies in several cities, including Richmond, Muncie, Anderson, Kokomo, and Marion. This has been Kix 96 and WHO and Video News. I'm Jeff Lane. Have a great day.